saying goodbye to a local landmark. We didn't necessarily plan to close this way. However, we knew that this day had to come. Gil Lopez's parents, Gilberto and Juanita, opened La Amistad Cafe just west of Clarksburg back in 1972. Regulars have given the Mexican restaurant another name, Shorty's. Everybody called my dad Shorty. After nearly 52 years, the cafe opened its doors for the last time on Sunday. Well, my mom fell, fell ill and um, we just came to the point where we could not take care of her and run a cafe as well. It wasn't an easy choice for the family to make. From the framed photos and pictures on the walls, it's clear decades of memories were made here. I was seven years old when they opened the cafe. Gil says his parents immigrated from Mexico in the 1950s and became farm workers. They saved up to start the cafe, all while putting their kids through college and graduate school. In a way, Shorty's is their American dream come true. When it opened, it was just, just a small place, and then little by little, they started growing. It grew into a fan favorite. Gary Merwin has been a customer from the very beginning and always gets his classic order. Yeah, trees and acre breed right there. <laughs> Had him for 50 something years. <laughs> Gary says it's not just the food that he'll miss, but also the Lopez family. The tears he wipes away say it all. It's emotional, yeah. You know, it's just like an ending, you know, uh, end of an era. I've been coming here since um, the 80s. Chuck Pacheco eats breakfast at Shorty's every day. My little special dish I have refried green beans and I put sunny side eggs on top of it with onions. Love it. He's sad to see his favorite spot go. This place is going to be sorely missed. Gil says that support means the world to him and his family. And as they lock the doors for the last time, it's the love from the Clarksburg community that they'll hold on to. We really appreciate it. The Lopez family tells me they're not sure right now what they're going to do with the property, but their focus is making sure Juanita gets better. Reporting live in Clarksburg, Orcomana, KCRA 3 News.